we get the privilege of receiving a lot of emails from people that have attended our workshops and we have been finding a common theme through them. They, these are the fuel that drive Amber and I, knowing that we're helping people change their lives is key and there's been a common... Yeah, people come to our workshops thinking that they need to know all the mechanics of flipping houses and investing in real estate. And it's true, you do need to know, the, know those and we do teach those. Yes. But people leave and all of the emails that we get, every single one of them has that theme. They leave knowing that their mindset was the thing that was holding them back and their mindset is the thing that they have to change in order to be successful in the future. And it makes me feel good that, you know, what we're doing is we're, we're on the right path because yeah. people are able to see that they leave our workshops knowing that that's what they need to change and we're, they're seeing tremendous success because of it one of our whys is to leave a legacy and you know by helping other people and helping them change their lives that's the legacy we leave for ourselves so if you want to think of it that way we sort of do it for selfish reasons we want to leave a legacy for our, for ourselves and for our family as well so i am thrilled you guys write these emails to us please keep them coming we're going to share some some of these emails with you now resonated with me and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. It says, uh, good morning Glenn and Amber. My name is Anya and I am the wife of Alex from DC who recently attended your workshop. I would like to take a few minutes to tell you why I'm writing this email. Alex and I met in high school here but, here, but we are both from Russia and have seen our fair share of poverty, the collapse of the USSR, no money in the family. We came to America for a brighter future. We met, got married, and settled in the IT world. Through struggle, we were able to have three beautiful children, six, eight, and ten, and we decided to become a middle, middle class in order to give our children what we never had. We worked since we were 18 years old to buy a house, take kids to private school, and afford vacations. Last job that Alex had made him passionately hate IT, <laughs> and after he was laid off, he decided to never go back. My job today is very unstable, and I don't know how much longer I can stay there. Sadly, I was not able to come to the workshop and I did not hear all the inspirational stories about how real estate works. Alex came home and he was a different man. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Yeah. I want to thank you for giving him this new opportunity. He talked for hours about all of the endless possibilities in real estate and that it is all possible and how you did it and how great you are. Finally, I saw a spark in his eyes. I have been looking at every video that you post and would like to get inspired just like Alex was. I will come to the next workshop next month and miss a mandatory meeting at my work. I am willing to put my job on the line in order to achieve the goal and of a changed and better life in real estate where I can make a difference. I would love to meet you personally and if possible, maybe even have lunch together to get to know each other while we, were, while we are there. I would also love to hear a line or two from you to tell me, yes, Anya, you are making the right choice. I am still afraid that we have no money since soon my job doesn't pay enough to keep the kids in private school. I am working on putting my fear behind and I don't want to hold Alex back, so I need your help in doing this. I would like to see <clears throat> the big picture, but I am struggling to do so at this point. I appreciate that you are providing such a great program for new, start, new starters and we have already learned so much. Again, thank you and I hope to hear back from you soon. Below is a picture of us. Nice meeting you. So there's Alex and Anya right there. <laughs> you can see them. They're an adorable couple. We did get to meet Alex. and. You know this. You responded back to that email. I did. I responded back to it, and the reason I say that this email resonated with me so much is, you know, she was struggling mentally, and you know, she's got a lot of fear in the way, and she's a mom, and you know, you have that weight on your shoulders of, of making sure your kids are taken care of, and you're working, and I'm a working mom, so, and I, I think that Anya is a lot like a younger me, <laughs> the way that she, you know, I used to struggle with anxiety and everything. Yeah. So I responded to her in detail, and then she wrote me back again. She said, Dear Amber, was I surprised to receive such a detailed, great coaching, mentoring email from you? Thank you. All day yesterday <coughs> I spent getting to know Baltimore, its real estate agents and investors, and received tons of information. We felt many things, and I couldn't unwind once again. Having a sleepless night. While driving back from Baltimore, I read your email and felt much better. Already today I am using the new script, and it helps me a lot. I gave her a script to use in her mind. I realized that not only by supporting each other's other despite how poorly I may feel inside, 
will bring us to where we want to be. The bad days should not affect us in the relationship and we learn every day by our mistakes and gain confidence in order to move forward. I will continue to provide my brain with the power of my thought. I am a very realistic person, however, I love to dream. I dream about all the things we need to achieve in order to spend more time away from work and as a family. The realistic part of me says there is a hard road before us and, and we are taking steps uh, toward it. I also came to the realization that the process of learning a new business is not fast but slow. However, if at least one action item is done each day, one moment we are closer to achieving our goal and reaching our dream. I will need more inspirational talk. I feel as we get to as we get more and more into this, we learn more about ourselves. So true. I am drained by the end of the day ever since we decided to be on this path and have <laughs> almost no energy for the kids and sleep only every other day if I'm lucky. How do you do it, Amber, when you have a million things on your mind and can't come to bed with a quiet, peaceful mind? I don't want to take up too much of your time, Amber. Please feel free to respond when you have a moment to deal with uncertain Russian Anya. I love your emails, your inspiration, and most of all, admire your courage in everything that you both do. In business, in relationships, I saw the video about you two having a date night, but walked through the house before anyway. And in helping <laughs> others just like us, that felt like something was missing in their lives. Merci and gracias, Anya. So, you know, even that last point that she says there about, um, you know, this isn't all about money. Oh. I mean, it's about it, what the income can do for yeah, you. Yeah, never. But it's it not never about is money. about money, guys. It's always about what the money can do for you. And and how it can, like she said, how it can affect your relationships and with your partner and your family and your kids. And I just, I, I my heart goes out to Anya and, and all of the women. I th th this email like embodies why I do this. You know, helping oh. other women and not just women, but women, men, but moms especially. You know, the struggle is real. <laughs> When you work a nine to five job and you don't have time to go out and you know do the things with your kids that you want to do, I, I love being able to help other moms. And I'm so thankful that you sent this email because it just totally made my day. I want to say too, the one thing I think is great is that Anya reached out, she had fear, and she reached out to somebody to say, I have fear, I want to get through this fear, how do I do that? And we were there, you know, Amber was there to help her walk her through that, give her some actual good tools in a simple email to say, here is what you can do to get through that. And then she took the steps. So Anya, you know, we can give as many steps and tools as possible. We, that's what we do. We give people tools and steps, but the person has to still take the action themselves to get ahead. And that's what Amber did. And that's what made a huge difference in Anya and, and Alex's life. And we were able to help them with some uh, relationship things, try to figure that out because we we know do we have to work together and get through our stuff together too. We, you know, we, not every day is a great day for us too, but we're able to do that. But um, these emails mean the world to us, so uh, keep, them keep them coming. coming. <laughs> yeah, keep them coming, guys. They really are the fuel that drive us. So thank you, Anya and Alex.